Well, I got to talk to Gary Vee the other night, and goodness gracious, we just put out that video. Go check it out. It's a doozy. But I wanted to talk to y'all about how I was able to take the attention I was getting that night and leverage it to get a bunch of followers across all my social platforms. And all I had to do was screenshot one Discord chat. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. The name is Loru. I've been doing digital advertising slash marketing slash Twitch streaming for the better part of 10 years. And man, it was incredible. Got to talk to Gary Vee. This guy changed my life. It was amazing. And I wanted to talk about how you can leverage attention when it happens as a content creator. Okay. So... Uh, the first thing before I get started, I was able to make five pieces of content from this. Okay, from a literal screenshot of a Discord chat. All right, so there's Gary Vee. He smiled after he was talking to me. One of the co-founders of the company of the Discord uh, call that I was in was like, yo, Loru got Gary Vee shout sick, fire Mike, GG Loru. This is one of the mods. This is a founder. This is a core member of the community. And that, well, I don't have to explain Gary Vee. So what did I do first of all? Well, I took this Discord screenshot, okay? and I put it onto Twitter, okay? I put it onto Twitter and I tagged both Gary V and Fractal, the company Fractal is Justin Collins' new company. We're gonna have a whole nother video on that. Talk me with me about that later, okay? So I took the screenshot of that uh, uh, Discord chat and I put it onto Twitter. I tagged both them, both Gary V and the, and, the, and the company with a, with a scroll stopping text, okay? Then Fractal, the company I tagged, retweeted me and goes, yo, who's a Laura fanboy? Is it me, chat? Am I a fanboy of myself? Okay. Then I recorded the entire conversation I had with Gary V, and I put it onto Instagram. We're going to talk about Instagram after this. But the Instagram post was two minutes long, so it was too long for YouTube shorts, TikTok, and Instagram reels. Then I took the very end of that conversation where Gary V compliments my voice, which made me melt a little bit. It was about 17 seconds long, so I cut it out put that onto Instagram Reels, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts. So with one piece of content, okay, a screenshot of a Discord chat from a private Discord call, I was able to make tweet, got retweeted, Instagram post, Instagram Reel, TikTok, YouTube Short. I was able to make five to six pieces of content from one thing. So the first lesson here, okay, is you need to be able to uh, make content at scale and recognize how to do that. So I was able to take, and you as a content creator can do this. You got an awesome clip on Twitch, cut it up, put it on TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and Instagram Reels. Take the same video. You don't need to make three unique videos. I do because I'm extra, but take the same video, put them onto those three platforms. You turn one piece of content into three. You can then also put it onto Twitter. There's four. You can put it onto your YouTube as a uh, January clip compilation. That's five. We generally don't recommend clip compilations, but that's a whole other video. Check that out. Okay. So the first thing is you got to be able to make all the pieces of content at scale. So have the tools to be able to do that. All right. I was able to leverage the attention I got because I knew how to video edit enough to turn uh, uh, a two minute Instagram clip into a YouTube short. I was able to image edit enough to be able to like make this look nice. And yes, it's in paint, but I cleaned it up a little bit in my affinity photo. We have an entire list of software that you can use as a content creator in my website, lauramurth.com. Links in the description. You already know what it is. So first point, be able to make the content at scale with the tools that you have, okay? Second point is you gotta have easy follow-ups for the people that are engaging with you. You'll notice that not only did I tag them, but in my Twitter bio, I have what I'm about. Here's my tagline, the platforms I'm on super easily, advertiser by day, content boy by night, little bit silly. My brand voice, my brand voice is authoritative and goofy. Okay. Having a brand voice is important, but that's again, another video, check the YouTube. Okay. And then I have my business email here, my YouTube, my website, and what I do. So at a glance, someone can come to my Twitter. They, this tweet got a bunch of likes. Uh, 60 likes. That's a lot for me. I'm not a bigger, I'm not a small creator, but I'm not a big creator yet. The point is that the people that came in were able to easily follow up with where's his website, where's his YouTube, where's his Twitch, very, very simply. I have the same information that is in the above the fold section of my Twitter and my Discord bio. So remember, this was from a Discord call. So the people that were tagging me in Discord, I was all of a sudden getting a bunch of pings in Discord itself saying, yo, what's your Twitch? What's your YouTube? And I was like, yo, links in bio. And then all of a sudden, the moment I said links in bio, I looked and I got a bunch of Twitter followers and a bunch of Twitch follows. I didn't even tell them where the, I didn't tell them which one to follow. I said, yo, my links are in my bio. And thus I got the attention to convert, okay? Because I made it easy 
you have to be sure that it's easy for people to click because people are lazy and they're not going to want to go after all that stuff. So loremurf.com, ladies and gentlemen. So the final thing I did was you'll notice on this thread was not only did I put the Instagram post on there to make sure, hey, here's the question, but I responded to every single comment on here. You have no excuse if you're an up and coming creator to when you get attention to not talk back. You have to, not just because it's polite, not just because it's quite frankly, I think the morally correct thing to do. These people are saying like, good job, hell yeah. Nice job, Loro, yo, nice voice, audio is crisp. Of course, I'm gonna say, thanks. Thanks everybody. But try to provide some value. If they have questions, answer them. And above all, be humble, be humble. Because chat, I can't tell you how it's easy. My head was getting a bit puffed up, you know? Ooh, Gary V talked to me. Ooh, I'm this, I'm this uh, excellent content creator now. I'm, am I better than everyone? You know, that's not me, chat. And, but it could have easily been me. Instead of deciding to inflate your own ego from this, use this moment to provide value, to give back. And that's what makes people follow. Because if you make somebody feel valid by spending time typing a comment, they'll follow you. I would respond to a comment and they would just follow me right there. It's incredible. So that's how I was able to leverage uh, the attention I was able to get last night and convert that attention into followers on every social media platform. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you press like. If you want more, press sub. Come on down to Twitch. We'll answer your questions. We'll talk to you live. We just had somebody come from our YouTube channel. Thank you very much, Dak. And show up on Twitch and talk to us live. Oh.